Welcome to our channel. For those of you who are new around here, we're Paltai International and we created a sculpting medium called Paltai Premium that looks and feels just like clay but cures stone hard. Check out our other videos to see for yourself what's possible. Today we're showing you how to build a delightful, magical fairy archway. These can be put on trees, propped against walls, stuck onto fences, anywhere you like really. This is part one and in part two we'll show you how to use findings and trinkets from around your house to decorate them. Here's all the tools you'll need to see the description box below. We start by making these two pieces, a cardboard arch and a plasticine clay doorway. They will be coated with Paltai Premium and pressed together. So here we're folding paper and drawing the pattern for the arch. Really any arch-like shape will work from gothic to geometric to round. This particular one is an arrowhead arch. Very intricate designs can be established in this step, but we've chosen a simple set of lines. Transfer the pencil lines to both sides by burnishing with a smooth tool. Time to cut a cardboard pattern of the arch. Prepare the clay doorway. Roll out a quarter of an inch, about six millimeters of soft clay and glue the cardboard down. Cut out the arch shape. Affix a tape handle to the back for holding. Transfer the pencil to the clay with a tool like this. Here's where the fun comes in, decorating your doorway. Tap in clean lines with a square hoop tool. Carve out around the door frame. The different elevations give considerable variety to the final archway. Add clay within the doorway. This additional depth makes the archway far more interesting. It allows a shadow to be cast deeply into the surface. Adding fun pop and sizzle to the archway, take your time on this part, it's where the magic begins. Use anything that can be pressed into clay and leave a mark, like a paintbrush and a round hoop tool bent with pliers. A bowl stylus. and square hoop. Ballpoint pens are great. And a Phillips head screwdriver. Nicely finished with lots of interesting detail. Time to prepare the roof. Cover a cardboard sheet with masking tape, then transfer the arch pattern to it. The tape prevents the cardboard from getting soggy with water and you can draw on it easily. 
To get the roof sides the correct length, mark and rotate the arch pattern along a line. Extend the top and bottom outward at a 45 degree angle, then draw a sweeping line between the two ends. Really any shape will do, convex, concave, even a straight one. Cut out the taped cardboard patterns. Lightly scribe the balcony support so it folds into a curve. Draw and hot glue a simple set of lines onto the roof sides. Pre-bend the sides so they will curve around the arch nicely. This is the back of the sculpture, so it's barely seen when the archway is in the garden. You'll need some texture present, but it's not critical for the final look. You'll see what happens with this hot glue later. Tape all the pieces together including the balcony support. If you're ever intending to nail this onto a fence, add a nail hole with a tiny piece of foil. Check the fit of both sections. Now we're going to be casting the parts with Paltai Premium. So coat and brush on a thin layer of vegetable oil as a release. This helps the pieces come apart easily, just like it does in baking. Mix a one cup batch of Paltai Premium to the consistency of pliable cookie dough. Spray the patterns very lightly with water. This will let the Paltai Premium to float into the tiny details without creating any air bubbles. Take a tiny pinch of Paltai Premium and rub it gently onto the clay. A thin paint-like layer will accurately fill in all of the delicate details. Backfill a 3 16th of an inch, around 4 mm layer on the doorway. Apply a first tiny daub of Paltai Premium and pat it thin. Add the next daub on top of the first and spread it while only keeping the one leading edge. This will prevent any air bubbles from becoming trapped underneath.
Fill in the roof with the thin paint layers first and then backfill up to a quarter of an inch, around five millimeters. Roll some up and add the balcony, and remember to stitch it in place. Make the edge smooth with a square and trowel. This will clearly show the thickness all the way around. Time to position the two pieces and compress them together. Tidy up any details with a square and trowel to complete this part of your sculpture. And now it's time to strengthen and cure. Directly wrap your fairy archway in plastic. This prevents too much evaporation. On the second day, unwrap your sculpture, add wet towels and rewrap. This will greatly increase the strength of your fairy archway. Next time we'll show you that on the third day when Paltai Premium has the consistency of dense wood, how we can carve cleanly and sharply in the details. We'll also show you how to paint and finish this beautiful fairy archway. Don't forget to become a Paltai Insider to get access to our bonus, discounts, offers and more. Thanks for watching.